Hello Booktube, it's Brecky from Brecky Writes. This is Brecky Reads, and this is my Hispanic Heritage Month TBR. Hispanic Heritage Month runs from September 15th to October 15th, and it's an opportunity for us to celebrate Hispanic and Latinx culture and heritage in a variety of ways. The wonderful My Name is Marenas has made a whole video of her TBR with more information about Hispanic Heritage Month, and I'm gonna link that down below. In the spirit of Diversathon, which I'm currently reading through right now, and also in the spirit of really putting my money where my mouth is, as far as de reading diversely, I am going to participate in Hispanic Heritage Month by reading some books by Hispanic and Latinx authors. All of these are books that I already wanted to read but kept putting off for some reason, and now there's just no excuse. I have an opportunity to read them over the next 30 days, and I'm really excited about it. I'll be including the books I read for Hispanic Heritage Month into my September and October TBRs and wrap ups. I wanted to let you guys know that Hispanic Heritage Month is a thing. Thing, a thing that we should celebrate and encourage you to add some Hispanic and Latinx authors to your TBRs. And here are the three books that I am going to be reading for Hispanic Heritage Month. The first book I'm going to be reading is Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older, and right now is the perfect time to read this. Last week Shadow Shaper won the International Latino Book Award, so this is the perfect book to read during Hispanic Heritage Month. It is about Sierra Santiago, and she is growing up in New York, and she has this magical ability where she can shape paint and shadows, but she is being hunted by some pretty terrible people and they are hunting down the last of a shadow shaper. So she has to sort of figure out her power, figure out who's hunting her, and stay alive. It sounds amazing. I've read the first chapter and I've enjoyed it so far and I will be finishing this for Hispanic Heritage Month. The second book that's on my TBR for Hispanic Heritage Month is a book that I've already started for Diversathon and so far has been really, really good and that is Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. Labyrinth Lost is about Alex and she's a bruja or a witch, but she does not want her witch powers. She is like not all about that life, so she wishes for her powers to be taken away from her, but instead she loses her family and must travel to the mythical land of Los Lagos to retrieve them. And boy is her travel some crazy business. I'm about halfway through and y'all, this is a really good book. I am seriously enjoying it. It's the first in a series and I am definitely looking forward to it. Zoraida Cordova herself is an Ecuadorian American author and she is just brilliant and fun. If you don't follow her on Twitter, you really Really should she's great and so far Labyrinth Lost has been a great read so I will finish it both for Diversathon and Hispanic Heritage Month. The third book I'm gonna read is an audiobook and that is going to be Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe and that is by Benjamin Alieri Sanz. This book has won a ton of awards including the Prince Award for Young Adult Literature and the Lambda Award for LGBTQ Literature. It's about two Mexican-American boys in the 1980s and their friendship and their growing up and maturing over the course of a summer and what is a budding romance for the two of them as they begin to discern their sexuality and kind of look at the limits of their friendship and if it could be something more. I've just started the audiobook of this and I've wanted to listen to it on audiobook because it features another Latin American performer who is just so hot right now and is basically an amazing human being, and that is Lin-Manuel Miranda. That's right, Lin-Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame reads Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, and I'm about an hour or so into the audiobook right now, and he has just done such a great job. It is so rich and so real. It's just a sweet read, at least this far in, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So these are the three books that I plan on picking up for Hispanic Heritage Month. It's not a super ambitious TBR because I have a lot going on right now. I haven't been doing a lot of readathons. I've been kind of slowing down on that. I'm writing more. I My work life has got kicked into overdrive right now. But I wanted to commit to reading more diverse authors and to be reading a lot of owned voices. Own voices are when the person writing is the kind of cultural background of the characters. So in the instance of both Labyrinth Lost and Shadow Shaper and Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, those authors are Hispanic and Latinx authors themselves writing about Hispanic or Latinx characters. So I'm very, very excited, looking forward to them. Comment down below and let me know if you are participating in Hispanic Heritage Month, and if you are, what books are you gonna pick up? Marinas, at my 
My Name is Marina has a great list of Hispanic and Latinx authors that you can check out. She has some great reviews of books. So if you are curious, if you aren't sure what you want to get into, if you are looking to diversify your reading, I will link her down below. There are just so many wonderful opportunities to expand your reading horizons and right now is a great time. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye!